this is Andrew Hansen and in this video I'm going to show you a little keyword research technique I've been playing with that can help you rank for new keywords without having to create new content. This is actually really cool and really really easy. There's two ways you can use this. You can use this and run the search and the analysis I'm about to explain for keywords that you already rank for or keywords that you come across in your market that you think you might be able to rank for in future. So you're in Ahrefs and you go to Keyword Explorer and you type in your main keyword at the top. I've used an example here and I got some great results just on the first random example that I tried. So I think a, a really wide range of niches will be able to, and keyword sets, will be able to find really valuable uh, opportunities with this. So the example term I'm using is best Bluetooth headset. So what you're doing here is you, know, you run the search and then you scroll down the page and you're taking advantage of this new feature, that newish feature uh, that Ahrefs has implemented. You go down to the bottom where it shows you the SERP overview and it shows you the top 10 sites that are ranking for that keyword. If you scroll over um, you can see this little gold mine. Um, it's called Top Keyword. So this keyword, um, Best Bluetooth Headsets, the global volume is 44,000. And down here, of the top 10 sites that are ranking, most of them, uh, this is a big term. And so you can see that the top keyword is, for them, the keyword that's bringing the most traffic to that URL. So for most of them, because this is a big term, uh, the keyword that we searched or some variation of it is right there at the top Bluetooth headset or best Bluetooth headset but on some of them there's a different keyword there so a good example so the first different one you see is this Plantronics and you think why did this article that's about the best Bluetooth headsets uh, rank for Plantronics and why does that keyword give them more traffic than this best Bluetooth headsets keyword? Well for this one you know, the example is not very interesting because it turns out uh, that that is from the Plantronics website that's why they're getting more traffic for that other term but if you keep going down the list there's other interesting things the first one that I came across was Bluetooth headphones. So this person, this is just a reviewer, okay, they've written an article on the best Bluetooth headsets. Uh, but best Bluetooth headphones is also a keyword group, but they're pretty much the same thing, or they're similar enough that they can be in the same article. Now the the best way to do this would be to look at this article and confirm that. I don't know this niche, so I can't confirm it, but my guess is that Bluetooth headphones and Bluetooth headsets can be discussed in the same article. And sometimes what you see over here is the same, it is even literally the same product, just phrased differently. So what's interesting about this is this this website ranks number 10. No, that's not right. This website, where is it? Number 7. No, it's like number 5, is it? Oh, no, it actually is number 10. Yeah, it ranks number 10 for this keyword and it's a big keyword so it gets a little bit of traffic from there but it gets more traffic from Bluetooth headphones so I opened up Bluetooth headphones you can just click on it there and it turns out that hang on let me show you this first it turns out that um, Bluetooth headphones this is keyword difficulty 76 and it's got 44,000 searches Bluetooth headphones has 12 difficulty and go across 280,000 searches. So you, on the first example that I tried, you find a keyword that you could rank for much more easily, which has much more search volume, just by seeing what are the things that the other sites that are ranking are also ranking for. The, uh, I have to make clear here, the, the power of this is that if you see something like this and you already have an article on best Bluetooth headsets. You don't necessarily, in fact, you, do, you probably don't have to write a new piece of content to target this other keyword. You might need to, but who cares if there's such a great opportunity like that. It'll be a tiny bit of effort for a big return, but likely you will not even have to. What you would do instead is just make small edits to your article that can help you to rank for that keyword as well as the one that you're already targeting or already ranking for. So let's say you've got an article on Bluetooth headphones or best Bluetooth headphones. You've got an article something like 
of this one, the best Bluetooth headsets of 2017. And let's say that it's feasible for you to discuss Bluetooth headphones in the same article. All you need to do is make some tweaks to your article to optimize better for that new headphones keyword. So I'm going to quickly give you four things that you could easily do just on site and within minutes to improve your rankings for Bluetooth headphones. I mean, improve your rankings for this secondary keyword that you find over here if you're not getting any traffic for it already. Because I'm such a professional, I have documented them in a uh, unformatted Google Doc for you all. Um, so I hope you appreciate the, the graphic awareness that's gone into this. These are the four. The first one that I would do, if I am this guy, where is he? If I am that site and I don't have, if I'm any of these sites and I'm not ranking for Bluetooth headphones, let's say I'm this guy, because that's the kind of a title that you're most likely to have if you're a, a reviewing affiliate like us. I'm going to change that. Why did I click on it? I'm going to change that heads, uh, that title to the best Bluetooth headsets and headphones of 2017. Now I've got Bluetooth and headphones in the title of my article. That may be, obviously everything depends on the competition, uh, how difficult the keyword is, but in a lot of cases, if everything else is right in your article, that alone, having it in the title, might be enough to push you up uh, the rankings into the top 10 and the top 5 for that new keyword. You don't need to stop there, however. Get it into the page title get that new keyword variation into your first hundred words, which is usually easy to do. You can often, often it's a situation where the keyword, if it's a product name, the product is just referred to by two different names. And so it's a matter of saying, um, there's been a lot of Bluetooth headsets, uh, headsets in brackets, sometimes known as headphones, released this year. That example is ridiculous, but I hope you know what I'm talking about. You can just refer to the other variation of the product name in brackets in that first hundred words, but then you've got the the new keyword in the page title and you've got it in your first hundred words. Third thing you can do is create more internal links to that page from other pages of your site, including that anchor text, the anchor text of that new keyword. So if you've got internal links already pointing to this Bluetooth, uh, best Bluetooth headsets page, you just change them so that some of the anchors are for that different keyword. Some of the anchors say best Bluetooth headphones of 2017, right? Or if you don't want to reduce, or if you don't want to reduce the relevance of the anchor text kind of cloud to that first keyword, then you can create new anchor text, sorry, new internal links uh, on other pages of your site, link them back to this page with that new anchor text, the Bluetooth headphones anchor text. Making sense? Last one, and the best one, although it's the most difficult, is to, uh, when you're doing your link building to this page, when you get the rare opportunities to choose your anchor text, you can choose an anchor text, which is that new keyword, Bluetooth headphones. Okay. Once you do that, without creating any new content, you could find yourself ranking for that other, sometimes much more... Uh, profitable, much higher trafficked, much lower in competition keyword variation. There's really just unlimited potential for you to find the opportunities like this with this tool in Ahrefs. So I hope you get to uh, give it a look and I hope you get some great results. Talk soon.